everybody, welcome back to the sound of a man drinking coffee. I'm just in risk of bringing this a little bit more uh, mindless and uh, purposeless oriented. Besides, you know, the general idea of just surviving. I'm always like, maybe we should do multiplayer, but then I'm like, nah. The few minutes of toxicity that I experienced, I'm, I'm okay with that. Let's start with our boy, the commando. And we'll end with our girl, the huntress. I think I have time for two. It depends how far we get, obviously. So today, this is, um, what is today? Today's Friday. It's about 5 a.m. It's later than I usually stream. I had to pack. I'm getting ready to go to the, uh, the C.S. Lewis Institute. For those of you who don't know, I mean, the name C.S. Lewis probably sounds familiar, right? He's the, uh, the guy that, uh, wrote the Chronicles of Narnia. Heard you. That was not the right button. <laughs> I'm meant to be right at that time. All right, get your, get your thumbs ready there. I mean, even though I use all fingers for my mouse controls. So it's a, uh, it's basically what I've, you know, my, my general studies have been in, um, as far as, like, honing them onto scripture and, and putting that into, on, like, on par with life. Putting putting uh, you know deep deep thoughts into the uh, prospect of, of the transcendence that uh, that rules our lives. You know, the, the prospect of absolutes comes with that. <laughs> that time I should roll a little faster. All right, where'd you all come from? All right, we don't forget, brain. We have options. Don't always have to just set the box. No. Zeddy did tell me that there's like. A box per level. Hold on one second. Because I can never quite get this stuff exactly right when I start. Okay. No. I do have, I have upgraded to two monitors. So, I mean, that is a thing. We're going to... There we go. Healing drone's pretty... Phew, don't have enough. Healing drone is solid right off the bat. There we go. I know he's behind me. Get there. That guy was opting for Cliff. It's okay. It was, um, so what the, uh, you know, I could just, just operate in a vacuum as far as my, my, uh, my own education goes, and I'm okay with that. I don't mind doing it. But it's, it's different when you have, you know, if I, if I just, if I say, say a person, that's why a Christian should go to church, in my opinion. If you start reading your own stuff, and not bouncing it off of other perspectives and other lies in this planet. You're doing a disservice to yourself, and you're basically, f like, formulating... Alright, see you guys. You're basically starting to, like, formulate your own church. My church becomes the Church of Good Spirit. And hey, you guys are welcome to join. But it is still just my opinion, and there are other perspectives. Um, I had a guy come to me yesterday, talking about... That is actually worth it. Yeah, so uh, this was at work, right? This guy, is, uh, he's got some issues. And I'm not trying to be cynical or any way. Like, he legit issues in his life. He's a younger man than me. Maybe like 10, 15 years younger. But he um, he has a daughter. He has a ex-significant other. And he... Um, he, he had, They're separated. And he talked. He's like, I talked with her. And she said, it's okay. I don't care what you do. Just take care of your daughter. I said, okay, so he actually got another girl pregnant. Well, she immediately, one thing to say it, another thing to be, um, you know, actually have that outworking. Because, uh, so, like, that kind of bred resentment because he got another girl pregnant, and then she's like, good luck with your new family. Now she wants to take the daughter away from him. He's all broken up about this. How do you go about comforting this guy, this guy or telling him or giving him advice? So, you know, we, we share stories like that. With, it, with each other, and it's, uh, you know, coming to different conclusions, trying to rectify it, trying to give advice, I mean, I'm, I'm believe it or not, the, the youngest person in this, mostly, like, retired people, so, I mean, I've, I have a strong desire to invest in the future with other people, we just, like, tactically go this way, here we go, tactics, so, oh, can you just not spawn all around me, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to get better with my tactics in this game, because it's not all about just accuracy. Positional placement, putting yourself around the area so you don't get hit. Also pretty vital. 
That's actually pretty good. I like War Banner. If I can actually uh, make an alternate fire hit, it would also be good. You know, but it's, it's uh, talking about things like that, like, um, you know, the, the practice. One of the reasons why it's it's good, in my opinion, to practice and to think about and to theory craft about all these things and hear about other stories is that when you eventually do come across situations like this, um, you're, like, in your own life, the traumatic ones. First off, it guards you against making poor decisions. Secondly, it helps you deal with those, the, the serious issues of life as they come about. Dude, my poor little healing germ just got freaking nailed. Does that make sense? And, and you, you also, like, it, are, it guards your heart and your decision making on top of that. Like, my, my wife and I will probably not leave each other. And that eradicates a lot, of, like, if we have kids, that gets rid of a lot of complications. Right, I'm not throwing out the debate right now whether you should or should not stay with us for like five enemies spawn. <laughs> That's all right. Come on up, gentlemen. Let me room up here on the pain train for all. I'm so uh, used to playing with my daughter on drizzle mode. Everything like should be dead by now, and we should be fighting the boss with like six items instead of spending all this time killing things. All right, let's get down. They can they can wait. We got stuff to do. Ah, roll in the air in the last second. It's not far enough. That's fine. Why not? I'll give us some health. That is just absolutely forbidden in the tiny girl world, by the way. You cannot give up health for any reason. Even though <coughs> she'll just gladly walk me into a whole bunch of dudes later on. Thank goodness. Please. Thank you, healing. Healing drone, I appreciate that. Let's take a look down here. Thought he was gonna jump. And statistically, this is why the the another reason a, a dual parent household is is vital, and you should make it a point to uh, you know hang on to that as long as you can. I don't see anything. Let's go back down. Is that um? It helps the next generation. You have an investment. It's our duty to put ourselves into the next generation. The skill set that you have, this wisdom that you have, well, it, it ends with you unless you bestow it upon another. So there's a lot of things that can be said to that, but like, you, you, that's good. You bestow it upon another. Not only that, you uh, you give it validation to a point where, uh, you know, you say, you know, eventually you get to, we're, dude, we're getting all the essentials. <laughs> give me one of each item forever. Eventually, we'll just get so much good stuff that the game will have no choice but to you know, bless us with a domin abdominable spirit. There we go. Indomitable, not abdominable. That's like your stomach muscle spirit. Makes no sense. Thirty minutes later. There we go. Get out of there. This is where the, uh, the wisp will come in handy. There we go. Freaking cascading. Wisp is actually a great haul. Right, let's get back over here. I'm guessing the uh, the boss is probably either down like the alley of shame or the tunnel of shame. <laughs> hey, I was wondering when you guys would show up. Yeah, it's a bad roll. I keep jumping, right? There's just a little bit over here we have to check, yeah, then we'll be good. Yeah, I forgot how much difference the uh, little war banner makes. Time to raid that time. Okay, let's uh, take a look over here. Oh no, we already did. Okay, so we have to go down the tunnel. I'm hoping, because I don't see the. Uh, the uh, the boss area. We could funnel these guys down there, I think. You know, but statistically, so you have a two-parent household. You have more time with your kids. You have more time for one-on-one. -on -one. Help each other when the stress gets too great. That and your kids are able to deal with, like, potentially serious, like, issues as you guide them through that. And I was right. It does happen once in a while. You know, they have a traumatic issue. You can be alongside them more often. As opposed to worrying about being a single parent or, uh, you know, trying to uh, devalue a child that's like we chose to have you. 
it was our choice. We had that kind of power. We could choose to own it. Like when you put a person, when you start making a person a choice, this starts to become a serious issue. Life is more than just a choice. Yeah. It's a, honestly a blessing, I think. Alright, let's, you know what? It's no better time than now. Hey, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> the Beetle Queen. Well, um, yeah. Let's go, boys. All right, we need to. We'll go through here. Just, just funnel them down for a minute. So this, excuse me, this requires a bit more tact. Playing in the uh, the monsoon mood. Then you know, playing with my daughter and Drizzle. Remember when we went to like level th the, the third floor or something? Uh, last time we played, and she's like, "Oh, it's it's on hard mode, Dad." Like, oh yeah. I suppose you're right. Yeah. This dude, and... Alright, time to fire on her, wherever she went. There we go. Just keep jumping. Just keep jumping. Just keep jumping. Laying the fire on. We've got the tornadoes doing good work for us. <clears throat> I mean, once you... You, need, you really need to, uh... Alright, let's get back up here. With the commando, you need, he, like, he needs to pop off. If it doesn't pop off right away, you got a, you got a tough fight ahead of you. And we might have that tough fight ahead of us. But I think we have some decent items. We might make this happen. Come on, buddy. Just, there you go. Okay, okay, okay. There are the explosions are starting to pop off. I know I see them behind me. I'm just kind of narrow-mindedly narrow focusing in the front first. Okay, let's get back in here and pop some shots at this queen. Excuse me. I'll worry about you later. The blocking does help. Thank you, Teddy Bear. Anyway, I didn't really have a focused topic today. Just kind of wanted to, uh, you know, go off the dome piece. Um, just kind of relax for a minute, since I'll be doing some very deep thinking and soul-searching, pondering. Let's say mind purification, too. I'm not taking any computers with me. I got my phone basically just for my alarm and to call my wife. Where'd you guys go? What's going on? I don't understand the issue. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's uh, when was the last time you took a solid day away from tech and internet? That's a yeah, sure. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty legit question. It's it's, it's worth a uh, worth scrutinizing. Like how much do you really need your phone and everything? If you haven't tried that, I would strongly recommend it. Alright, where are we going? Here we go. Twelve minutes we made it past the first floor. So I think we need something that's like... So what do we give up? The war kit. I don't want to give up my wisp. If I could keep my wisp, I would do that. What is this? Oh, the shield. Five items. Yeah, we can't get that. Transcendence? I think that's this, right? I think transcend. Well, we got two healing drones. You know what? We're not doing that. We're Shaped glass might be worth it. it. Will be worth it. Let's do it. Even though I know it's not, you know, ideal with this character, will be. I think it'll be okay. Like every, like the explosions will just cascade. I think we'll be all right. And we'll find out, right? If I can do one loop, I view this as. Just as a success, dude. Look at us. We got a freaking bird on our head. A little snipe. We're looking good today, man. Music spit out. That's okay. Tap, 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 tap. I mean, he's right there. What would John Wick do? WWJW2. <laughs> what would John Wick John Wick would have headshotted four guys by now. He would have just made some guys show up to headshot him. That's the kind of guy he is. Go. I think shaped glass was the right call. Now maybe shaped glass transcendence would have been the right call. I don't know. Oh, hello. Beautiful. All right. The uh, dude, I'm so spoiled. Ever, like since Huntress was my main character for a long time, 
Just having the ability to, like, shoot while sprinting is so good. Can't really do that right now. It's okay. It's just like slow moving money banks. I don't see anything over there. Alright. I really like uh, offing these snipers. Anything that like insta fires. Anything that insta fires, we, you know, we want to get rid of. Hey, missiles are good. Double damage missiles. Poor little dude. <laughs>
Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm just not talking today, apparently. I hit mute when I sneezed. I don't know how long ago that was. Hey, we're still alive. Drones, where are you? There's two of you left. Thank you. If I go invisible, does that mean the drones can't see me either? I know we're decked out, but... Holy crap, man. <laughs> so we did kill one, alright. We, we are making progress, so... I might just climb the spire. Thank you, teddy bear. Eternally grateful. You see, we need an explosion chain to start going so we can... Take advantage of our wisp. I think the, uh, the missiles are actually handling that pretty well. Yeah, there we go. Now they get to eat each other. Let's focus on the other one. Stay within... Stay within the box. Good morning, Zeddy. <laughs> Alright, let's focus on the air for a minute. Just, just kill one of them. That's all you need. We did, uh, get some distance while we heal. There we go. Got this. One and two. Okay. And we're just gonna kill every other enemy in the game. <laughs> it's only 71 in the teleporter. Well, we'll do it while within the teleporter. Hello. Goodbye. my roll right there we go we are teleporter free now we're just going to kill all the enemies grab all the chests hopefully not be in the haha -ha mood that'd be good to go freaking a man I, I am a fan of the wisps now i like the uh, what is it called the behemoth that uh makes all of your shots explode that'd be ideal but that's i'm okay with this too this is fine we're shooting fairly fast when we hit, but once we have one of our uh, portals down, we basically have machine guns for pistols. I think that buffalo just ran off a cliff all by himself. Okay. But I'm not, but I'm not a leprechaun. If you want to fight, then step up some. Let's get it on. Right to the ill. A fight to the grill. Descendant of Dublin with titanic skill. I think that's how that song goes. Yep, da 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 da. I used to see the um. The, the the I see Skynet around here, the um the big machine that flies around. It was like almost like a game winner when I first started playing the game. I never see it anymore. It was the, like the big mecha machine that will cost a couple thousand in this level. Maybe it, it just believes I've gotten so good that I don't need that. I don't think that's the case at all. But hey, I can understand. Eventually, they gotta take the training wheels off. Be like, yo, you gotta, you gotta do this by yourself. Sorry, man. It's actually a pretty good combo. Cautious slug with the uh, stealth war kit. 
I don't think I remember seeing anything over here. So we'll just uh, take one quick loop and then we're out of here. Yeah, we can go faster. It'd be awesome too. Don't forget your uh, jump sprints. There's nothing up there. We've already been up there. I'm gonna miss some stuff this direction. I thought the light was an enemy. <laughs> I would get a crowbar, but I mean, I, we got too much to give up. The only thing I would want to be selective with would be the med kit, but I don't think it's worth it. Right, right. Hello, cat. We lost one gunner during that fight. I think we're okay. So now we have the abyss to conquer. And what could possibly go wrong? I don't know. I'm a little barking kitty. I love the clapping in the background. <laughs> Yeah, as far as the music goes. <clears throat> Three seventy one, huh? So you got the money, honey, I got the time. We were almost there. Beautiful. Fireworks. Give me some. Now's the time to eat them. That's okay, too. Faster healing, basically. <coughs> this is deeper in, right? Well, I guess they both kind of swing around. Doesn't matter. You have to run, like, 300 more of those off the cliff. Let's see you. There's usually a boss hanging out around here, so we should probably look through that thing. Ow. <coughs> Use all the blocking I can get. Thank you. Another day of almost dying in risk of rain, too. Dude, these healing drones are <sighs> pretty awesome. Alright, we gotta gather them up into the tiniest little field that we can so the wisp can do its work. What is this? What is this? Double the strength of healing? Oh yeah, I recently got this. Forgot how though. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> so killing one guy takes takes quite a bit. We have to see what we can do to, to add on to the chain effects. All right, backed up a bit. There is actually hey another wisp. I'm gonna actually run in and get this. And, uh, whoop. Let's go down this little uh, pathway here. Whew. Beautiful. And hopefully they'll all just like come down this little hole. And we'll be amazing strategical geniuses. Because we, uh. <laughs> Apparently not. They're just too powerful. Because we opted to come down here and let our wisp do a lot of the work. Yeah. Run. 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 It's like the movie 300, except there's just one of me. There we go. We need more fire tornadoes. We need, uh, what's it called? I think, honestly, my favorite item in this game is that, uh, the luck charm. Uh. There we go. <laughs> Dude, we got full so fast. If, we, uh, if that doubles the strength of our healing drones, also, that is pretty awesome. All right, let's. We need, yeah, we need to start chipping at this dude just a bit. Again. Okay. 
I can almost do this all day. Besides obvious time constraints. Dude, I had a... Oh my goodness, where did you come from? That was one heck of a backstab. I surprised Slash him with my uh, fire breath. But I, had a, I had another person come to me. Like, day in the life up, right? And this is the, the thing about... Um, Anonymous lifestyle, I can leave names out of it. Guys will probably never need, meet me, so it's the story context, the allegory that, you know, it can be meaningful. I had a, uh, two people from a, my job, they, when they know why I'm, I'm not very, like, so I don't stand on a pulpit and preach every day at work, but they're, I mean, it's pretty much known what I'm about, why I value people. And <clears throat> it, at the workplace, I actually get a good bit of respect because of that. Because I'm, you know, my integrity is fairly solid, I think. Can you, how are you doing that behind the back shot? It makes no sense in my brain. Okay, all right, we have a magma worm also. It's good. But I had uh, two people come to me. And one guy I've been talking to a lot about the uh, the new Tool album, which I'm a fan of. I just, I want any time to digest it. I don't need, I don't even have it yet. Pardon me. Oh, we're up here now. <laughs> sure, we'll open it up. Yeah, let's get some time. That was a bad idea. But he came to me and he's like, he's, he's pretty much in tears right at the startup. He's like, I, I need work to take my mind off of life. What's going on? He's like, one of my best friends uh, just found with his wife in an apparent mur uh, murder suicide. Like, last night? Dude, why are you here? He's like, I need the distraction. I can't, I, I just need it. I'm like, all right. And, I got it. It's something about yesterday, though, man. Did I kill that, uh... We gotta find the boss. What am I doing? Alright, come on, come on, join the crew. Well, apparently I didn't activate him. Okay. He's a healing druid. Not like we really need him. He's, like, he's an idiot and grab transcendence. It's such a good run going till that happened. Yeah. So I, I he usually is, uh, on the radio, so I took the radio off. I'm like, well, if you really want to stay at work... I do have some special projects I need done here, pulling out pallets and all that kind of stuff. Well, that's <clears throat> that is a that is a trend I notice specifically. Five thousand nine hundred. No, no. Right. Um, when people have you know people jest and stuff about faith and religion, but when that kind of stuff happens, usually so there's if they, with that kind of mentality of the uh, the mockery of the serious and. You know, we, we all know we're not eternal on the, in this fleshy little life's core that we're in. So to not ponder it, to not think about it, is just basically ignoring it. And our media does a great job of doing that for us. Basically paints the picture of immortality, and we are, um, you know, we're all just... You, you put on your daily forms of disfigurement, whether it be just deodorant from a guy, or makeup for a girl, to pretend like we're younger than we actually are, that kind of thing. Our, our whole entertainment value, and Nietzsche put it pretty simply, he's like, what sacred games must we invent? And I've said that a couple of times already. To like, ignore our mortality and to ignore the concept of a god figure. We need to find the freaking boss. We were already probably in deep water. I can just hear the rumblings of an army that way. Look over there, my computer just thinks about season up. We just, come on, I don't care to in the party. Hey! Oh boy. Actually, that's not bad. Alright. Well, they're bound to show up some point, so we might as well start laying the hammer down a little bit, get some wisp action going. Yeah, but... And I, so, when he, when he said this, I'm like, this, I'm gonna give you some time, my man. This is... You should really think about this stuff, because, you know, their death does not do anything to death in general. Hey, that's good. Go get him. It just brings it closer to your doorstep. It just the same thing with war. War doesn't do anything to death. We're all terminal. It's just how what life is. Bandolier, that, that's pretty good actually. Do we chop up dudes pretty quick. Now we need to start killing things, because if we don't, my computer is gonna die. <laughs> Straight up. Straight up. But I can't seem to find the boss. I'm guessing it's higher than I'm used to. So I need to start ascending. Probably using my boost too. You know, we got transcendence. I guess that's kind of a joke. It's like, yeah, go higher. It's not where you think it is. 
let's go down here. We haven't been down this area yet, I don't think. Oh, in the caves! You know, or just kidding, it's right around the corner here. <laughs> Thank you for the advice, though. I'd, I'd be running there next, obviously. And we have no enemies here, so, I mean, it's going to be only a matter of time. Well, that's exactly what I want to fight. Over How many of you are there? We need some distance. This is going to be a miracle if we do this. Everything is going to be a problem. It's going to take me, like, a freaking year to do this, but that's okay. What else are we doing with our time? Hello, Mangalorn. Welcome to the party. I mean, if I could just whittle him down, little by little, you can, you guys can stay up there. I'm okay with that. The ground forces are coming pretty soon. I mean, this guy's right here. Apparently, uh, he invokes the power of levitation. Gravity no longer applies. You know, we have, we have these dudes. Go get them. Be a distraction. There they go. There's my frame rate. We have double jumps. I just backed myself into a freaking corner. If you make vocal noises, it helps with the, uh... It's like, a, it's like the, uh, the wave dash in, uh, Super Smash Brothers. Sure. <laughs> anyway. Just to segment these, I'm gonna... Stop this. I'm just gonna pause. And then start again real quick, so don't go anywhere. Zeddy, I know you're the only one watching this. Okay, we're gonna come back with my girl. Who's like auto win, right? Anyway, let's give me one second. Hey, well, everybody on YouTube, once again, thanks for watching. My guest, Joe, to click like button, subscribe, and want to see more in the future. And I'll be back in a couple days. See you later. Bye.